Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a really nice product. Um, a few weeks ago I bought this from Hobby King, it was on sale, so it was very cheap um, considering what you get for the money. And um, uh, this is a really special product uh, in, in different ways. But I'm also going to show you something that's very important about it and uh, a little bit what I am thinking of doing with it because I'm going to modify it very, very much. Okay, this is the Follow Me from Quantum. Comes in a nice box. And uh, as you can see, it's in uh, very good, uh, it's packed very good. And um, you have the quadcopter here. You have the battery underneath here, charger. You have your uh, uh, like uh, you, you have your propellers. That's like a DJI lookalikes. Maybe it, it is DJI's. You have the landing gear here. Some uh, some of the stuff, uh, standard stuff that uh, that comes with a kit like this in here. Uh, so the main thing is uh, this one. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This is um, a gimbal. Very cheap uh, gimbal. I don't know if I really like it. It's uh, not the best one. Uh, small motors and everything, but uh, probably we can do something about that. It also comes with a camera, but I don't have it here. And this is also uh, really the, the main feature why people buy this, I think. This is the watch that you control the quadcopter with, and also a GPS uh, receiver here. So together, these two can control the uh, uh, the drone, uh, and the main feature is that it can follow you. Of course, it has follow me function, so you can just uh, push a button here and uh, make it follow you, and it, and it will follow you where you go. The problem is with this one that uh, it doesn't change height. You take it up to like uh, thirty feet or ten meters and uh, it will stay there uh, relative to the point it started from so if you go up a hill or down a, uh, or down a hill you will uh, see that it don't uh, change the height, height uh, after you so you cannot go up a hill or take, uh, do some skiing down a hill and, and make it follow you for me that was the major turn off uh, I knew it before I ordered it but I didn't think it was uh, 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 what can I say? It's such a waste to uh, don't uh, have it high up in the air. You have to have it pretty close to you so it really can film something that's, that you want to see afterwards. And if you have it too close to you, it doesn't really focus all the time on you. So 50% of the time, uh, I wasn't even in the frame. So that for me, that was a waste of time. Uh, so what I did was um, I decided that I had to do something about it. It was worthless to me to use this uh, this thing here and it has like a 20-30 meter range. So half of the time it wasn't speaking to the drone and it just hung there in the air. No following, no nothing. So um, what I decided to do was to do some um, modifications. First of all, I can show you because this is a great uh, drone. It is really well built, very nice quality, and uh, as you can see, it's easy to fold out, easy to put on the propellers like that. And uh, all in all, it's. Uh, I think it's the size of a 33 millimeter, no, 33 centimeter uh, quadcopter, like the DJI Phantom, about the same size. A little bit bigger propellers, I think, at least for the first versions. Uh, anyway, <coughs> as you can see, from uh, fitting in this small package to be this drone, this size. It's very easy, very fast to do some to make it clear for flying. And you also need to have a battery in there. I don't want to fit that now, but uh, it's a big uh, 5000 milliamps battery here. 
So, and this one also is um, fitted in front of here. Just release the screw here, screw it in, and you will have it uh, pretty much ready in a few minutes. So, the form factor is genius. It's uh, small, it's rigid, it's light. Uh, it has a good room in here for components. It's a good balance between motors, propellers, and uh, it, it flies very well in the wind. I took it up in, uh, in some heavy winds, uh, one of the first flights, it was rock steady, no problem. What I found out after I took it up and uh, looked at the flight controller, this is an APM 2.5 flight controller. It has the uh, Wi-Fi connection uh, for this one, uh, but all in all, it's uh, uh, APM 2.5. APM 2.5 APM is old these days. We have 3.1 now. Um, and I also have used the, uh, the PixSock. That's even, uh, even much, that's even newer and uh, much better. But uh, you cannot fix a PixSock inside here. So uh, um, I'm going to fit a, a APM 3.5 Mini inside here. I'm going to set it up with, uh, with uh, the GPS that's in here, that's a U-Block uh, GPS mounted on top here, that's just to plug in the board. And, uh, and I'm going to uh, connect it to an Android uh, telephone and have the Droid Planner, so I can do all the follow me function that's, uh, that's in here without this watch. And I'm also going to use it with a regular transmitter, <clears throat> because I think the genius here is that uh, you can have it in this bag, you can have a little transmitter with you, for example the Eternity uh, Evolution, and you can use flyers as usual, and you can also use all the flight modes that the APM gives you, uh, uh, and that's uh, a lot. So uh, this will be a nice one to have laying in the car, just to bring out when I need it, to, to have some circling or follow me, or. Uh, do some uh, do a mission uh, or something like that using the phone or the transmitter and it has a reasonably good uh, flight time around 25 minutes so one battery you can do a lot of good filming uh, uh, with this one the gimbal I have to look, look in on that maybe I have to do something about it maybe replace it but on here it's a Turnigy, um, it's a Quantum uh, 4k camera uh, actually a good camera but I can also fit the GoPro in here if I want to. So we have to look in on that. Okay, um, that was a quick, uh, uh, quick um, rundown on what, uh, what's coming. So stay tuned, uh, get back to my channel and see what happens with the project. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be something that's not out there. It's gonna be like a, a finished form factor with the, that doesn't look home built but it's gonna definitely going to be home-built. So stay tuned. Tuned, guys.